Well, I got the phone, picked it up, I opened the door, and he's standing right there. Like, literally trying to, you know, he was about to rush me. Are you Spider-Man? 
MacArthur, it's L U I S. MacArthur's M C A R T H U R, and I'm a police commander with the Oxford Police Department. At about 9:20 this morning, the police department started to receive some 911 calls indicating that there was a fight inside a house in the uh, 1800 block of La Puerta, which is located in the Rose Park neighborhood uh, of Oxnard. When the officers got there, uh, it was also reported that one of the persons in the house was attacking the other with a knife. The officers got there and found an adult man that was outside the house. He was bleeding heavily from the top of his head and seemed to have a moderate uh, head injury. He said that he was attacked by another person that lived in the house and he identified him as Roy Jimenez, who was about 60 years old. Just at that time, the officers uh, saw Mr. Jimenez. Uh, he was actually armed with some sort of a metal pipe or a rod of some type and tried to attack the officers. One of the officers had uh, a less lethal shotgun and was able to deploy some beanbag rounds and at least three of the rounds hit him. Uh, the person that was injured also said that there were uh, at least two others that were in the house that also lived there. Uh, so the officer's focus was to try to get these other two tenants out of the house for their own safety. Uh, Mr. Jimenez retreated back in the house, but the officers were able to uh, get the two others uh, out of the house through the backyard uh, and, and out of the Danger uh, area. Uh, after that, we just uh, we contained uh, the house, uh, tried to establish some discussion, some conversation with with Mr. Jimenez, uh, including making uh, telephone contact with his sister and his brother. Uh, we tried to negotiate with them several times. He was not communicative with any of the officers. Ultimately, we got his brother to come. His brother also tried to get his brother to comply, to come out of the house. Uh, that didn't seem to work. So after about a six hour uh, standoff, we ended up uh, introducing gas into the house to try to force Mr. Jimenez out of the house. Uh, the purpose was to arrest him for assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, he didn't come out after we introduced gas into the house. Ultimately, we resorted to using uh, a dog. And so one of the canines went into the house and apprehended uh, Mr. Jimenez. Obviously, the ultimate goal is that we don't want to hurt somebody. Uh, even though he's been, or he's been suspected of having committed a crime, uh, he's still a human being, and so we always try to get get folks to comply and to come out so nobody gets gets hurt. So we try to to use uh, a lot of the instruments, a lot of the tools that we had at our, our, our disposal. We were also assisted by the sheriff's department. So ultimately, we were able to resolve uh, the problem with anyone being uh, seriously hurt. Lewis MacArthur, and I'm a police commander with the Oxford Police Department.